All right, now you know what time it is. It's time to learn about some new, amazing places to visit here in the Holy Land. This is a side of Israel that most people have not seen before, and it's brought to us by Visit to Israel, one of the world's leading Instagram pages about how to travel in the Holy Land. And so without any further ado, here's Ella of Ella Travels the World from Visit to Israel. Take it away. Hi, Aaron. Hi. So our first place will be in the north of Israel. Cool. It's called the Bechan National Park. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. It's pretty known. It's, it houses one of the most spectacular ruins of an ancient city called Bechan. Bechan. Yes. <laughs> it was a Roman city uh, with an almost perfectly intact amphitheater. Wow. Yes. Um, this is wow, and there it is. That's gorgeous. It is. Almost perfectly intact, yeah. Wow, and then so how much of the ruins can visitors kind of go through, or is it maybe cordoned off in certain areas? No, no, it's actually quite totally open. Totally open? Yes. And uh, the excavations also uh, revealed over 20 layers of remains of ancient cultures dating back 6,000, 7,000 years so ago. So before the I mean, exactly. we're going... Exactly, we are going before the Romans, yes. One city built on top of another, that's exactly. amazing. Exactly, exactly right. like that. Wow, and so like, is it tough to get there? Should people get a tour or maybe kind of just well, look it, it up and, and head out? They should get a tour. Mm. It's in the north of Israel. It's not very difficult to get to, but I think the best, play, the best option to get by is... Uh, get like sorry. a guided tour, maybe yeah. you'll, see, you'll see what's going on there. Yeah. Okay, so what's our second place? Our second place lies in the heart of Israel. Mm. It's called the Solek uh, Stalactite. Uh, oh, this, yeah. Cave. Slactite caves, yeah, sure. Yeah. Slactites, uh, for everybody who's not, uh, maybe they don't know, is uh, you know those giant calcium deposits that hang, that hang down from, from the yeah. ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, and this is so cool. Yeah, so it was revealed by accident in 1968. Really? Yeah, they were quarrying with explosives. That's how they <laughs> found out. Yeah, that there's a cave over there. Uh, but they left it uh, as a secret place, never revealed its location for almost 10 years. Why? Because the fear was that people will enter the natural reserve and will ruin it, as mm. it's very, the stalactites are very delicate. Right. Yeah, but it was open in late in the late 70s for visitors. I'm assuming they maybe roped off bits so people don't exactly. touch and mess with it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, st some of the stalactites are dated back to 300,000 years ago. Yeah, I was just going to ask. I mean, some of these are massive, so they exactly. must be ancient. Hundreds of thousands of years ago. That's incredible. And yes. like, what kind of mineral? Is this like limestone? Do we know? Or? Uh, I don't, I don't know. know. You don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a nerd and no, I'm interested in No, that's very good. No, that's actually really interesting. <laughs> Well, well, it makes sense that it's limestone. Yeah, no, these these places are gorgeous. Ella, thank you for sharing them thank with us again. Thank you so much, and Aaron. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.